Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. It's time for some more Meeple Station. Last we left off, we had finished building out parts of our space station, but we still have a lot to do. We're currently researching botany to make sure that we can actually do something with that. We have to build out some of our officers' quarters, and hopefully we can finally start looking into building out stuff so our space station can go to other parts of the galaxy. Look at those guys, look how happy they are. Pouring stuff, and then pouring it again, and then going for yet another coffee break. Where do you think he's going? Is he going for a cola? I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Of course he's going for a cola, who wouldn't? Oh, someone's supremely miserable. Oh, she block, you really don't like being- Oh, you feel useless? Okay, we can fix this, she block. I honestly think, she block, you will be much happier when we can make you a botanist, but we can't even select it yet. We can't select it until we finish researching botany. What other roles do we need filled? We have two engineers, we only have one refiner. Okay, let's try this. Let's put you on refinery duty for now. Quick check, our power consumption is doing just fine. We are taking in as much as we need. Our O2 levels continue to be good. These guys continue to be all star. Bonnie's getting there, slowly but surely. While we're waiting, let's see what happens if we try and make some Plurithite, which we can sell for 120 a piece. I'm actually gonna write this down. So to get something that eventually we could sell for 120, it would cost us 65 to buy it, a little bit of time to refine it, and then we could sell it for 120, making a profit of 55. I think that's pretty good. Let's give it a shot. We don't need to buy dilithium because we have plenty of that. We're gonna buy five titanite, five stelium. We're gonna use that to make our dilithia. We don't need to buy any dilithium. We have plenty of that. I'm not gonna buy any more durithite because it's just a little bit too expensive. And that should give us enough to then refine it. So the first thing we need to make is dilithia, which is stelium. Oh, I forgot to buy stelium. Thankfully, this stuff is really cheap. So now we go over here, and we can make dilithia, of which I will make five. I cannot emphasize how much time these meeples spend either staring at the walls if you're an officer, or simply refining for like a second and then wandering off because you hate your job so much. Oh, I forgot our airlock up here is ready. There we go. So I made it another trade route. So now we have three ships that can come in at once. We also have a severe misery warning. What a shocker. It's still SheBlock over here. All right, SheBlock, listen. Keep doing it for a little bit. We're going to switch you to being a botanist soon. I think it's fair to say we need a second coke machine. Botany's going well. 70% of the way there. You think these meeples are happy working down here? It's like, it's very sterile, but also it feels like you're in the basement. The space basement. The space mint. Kind of enjoy this being a space over here for more boxes. Let's extend this, and we'll just shove all of our crap in the corner. No question, we need another soda machine. Right there. Yeah. The citizens, thank you. Almost there. 90 out of 100. Look at that. Three ships at once. This is so cool. Look at that. Now it's like one big spaceship. I'm sure that blue ship is real happy about this. Botany finished. Check that out. Well, it looks like the path to fuel processors and eventually quantum engines is going to be advanced refining, apparently. So that's what we're researching next. Time for some botany. So we have our planting bays. We planned ahead to make, but then I ended up using the resources for something else. So let's save ourselves some money. Oh, let's look back on our experiment now. Oh, we need more stelium. Let's go ahead and put it in an order for more brothium because we're going to need that. Ooh, and we got a new meeple. Let's learn about you, Bogri. They are forthcoming with others, diligent worker, steady nature, flimsy stature, and then you're lethargic and messy. Ah, oh, Beaudry, you seem so promising at first. Whoa, Dix, what's the problem here? You want privacy? Whatever, dude. Actually, Dix, you seem like you'd be better as a miner, so we're gonna reassign you as a miner. Sheblock, a killer botanist, and Beaudry, why not? Let's go ahead and make you a botanist as well. We're outgrowing this space. Directly above, I'm gonna make another level. Hangout spot number two. I'm putting down planting bay number one here, so at least the botanist, once it's built, at least the botanist will have something to do. All right, who's got that extreme misery? Sheblock, really? Really? Sheblock, you haven't even tried to do any botany yet. How do you know if you hate it? Just just try to be a botanist. Have a cola. Kudos to the person that made this, by the way. Fits right in. I wonder if I could make something for this game. If I were to make something, what would it be? Besides working toilets, I mean. Researching continues at a perfectly fine pace. Planter box number one is done. It's becoming clear to me now that we are going to need more space right there. Did that botanist really just just like look at the planter box and be like, that's cool. I'm gonna crap on the floor and leave. She block, that is not what I call best effort. How are things going over here, guys? I'm so dumb. I had selected Stelium to infinitely build, and so he was making Steelite first, and so this was never getting a chance to be built because he keeps consuming all the Stelium. Let's give him 30 more Stelium. Now that should work out. Quick faux pas on my part. And we have a new meeple. Plommy. Sociable, slovenly, confident, fit, chatterbox. Janitor it is. In case it seems sort of 
of wacky. My logic is to just make everyone a janitor at first and see if it sticks. And everyone else that hates that job, we'll move them over to something else more appropriate. Unless there's something we really truly need in the moment. For now, we're going to build out this little space here. We're going to open this up and put another refinery above the first one. And we can also put more life support and things there too. I'm starting to think we need a cola machine on every floor. She block is still unhappy, bothered by loud snoring. We're gold status now. I think what that also means... Yeah, check it out. We have three new vacancies here for Chief Engineer, Chief of Science, and Chief of Security. Chief Engineer gives faster mining and faster construction. Chief of Science doubles research speed. I think that's going to be very necessary for what we're doing right now. And the Chief of Security increases guards' damage and increases guards' range. What I get from that is that we're eventually going to have armed conflict around here. And something tells me that is going to be of some pretty high priority to figure out. So they're working on this now because I clicked the little priority thing. What I'm now realizing makes the most sense is why should I be buying it when I can just obviously refine it? I love the idea that this dude came up here and was like, well, this is very disappointing. And he's up here to be like, time to make a poopy. At long last, we can finally make pleurithite. So let's make five of them. And as before, let's make that the priority. Man, look at this. This is so cool. There's so many ships coming and going. Oh, our advanced refining is done. Check it out. Oh, you know what I think happens? To unlock this, we got to research this and then we have to research the dilithium reactor and then we can work on the fuel processors. Next thing to do is advanced circuitry. Oh, look at all that pleurithite. I think I made too much pleurithite, in fact. But let's sell it. Watch this. Pleurithite 120. Oh, yeah. He can't even buy them all. That's why this guy's here. You want to buy some pleurithite? Oh, thank God there's a third ship here. You want to buy some pleurithite? We made a lot of money off of that. That was a good investment. It took a little bit of time, but... So they're finishing up making the brothium, and we'll make that the priority for now so that they can just finish that off. And then we're going to make more steelite, which of course is the thing we are always in need of. We'll use our vast sum that we made from the pleurithite, buy a lot more steelium so that we can make more. Ah, and a new meeple has joined. What do we got? Who do we got? Zoro Polo. Awkward, distracted, steady, fragile, and pretentious. Well, milady, let's find a job for you. You know, Zoro Polo, I'm sorry to say there isn't really like a good job for you. Let's make you a botanist. I don't know what else to do with you. Check it out though. We got 19 people now. And I'm going to learn from my mistakes. We have three new officers we're going to have to create, and so we're going to need to make three more officers' quarters, but I'm going to go ahead and just build those first before assigning them to officers, because last time that was just a mess that no one wanted. All right, let's build more planting boxes here, like that. I was thinking of putting the food storage here, but I think I'm going to actually put more planting boxes there, and I'm going to put the food storage up here on level two, where these people are standing around contemplating their existence and pooping on the floor, which of course means we need to also build this out a little bit. And then we can connect it to the bedrooms, huh? Meanwhile, down here, this is gonna lead to more officers' quarters. Gonna need even more steelite. We gotta get those food storage boxes ready to go. And also, what a shocker, everyone wants soda. Gonna also extend this and add more of those containers. We have finished advanced circuitry, and now it's time for something new, like fuel processors. Over on this level two, we're gonna make some more seating. I'm hoping that this makes the meeples a little bit happier. More like a banquet hall style type thing. Let's continue to extend this wall. So I think we're in a good spot here. We've got our researching of things well underway. We have a lot of happy meeples here and then two people in perpetual misery. And I don't really know why, except they keep fighting with people. We have some good trade going on. Our botany is well underway. Our researching is also well underway. We have a pretty decent number of beds, although we're going to have to expand and make more. Our second galley is looking good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, crisis. Meplo's giving orders. Now we have to do this, this painful thing where I just have to like look around and try to figure out what crazy year it is. Here's the crazy order he put in. He just wanted what he wanted. All right, Maplo, listen, we've had a good run, you and I, but we need to reassign you. I think being the head of management has stressed you out. We are going to reassign someone else to be the head of management. So, Wegraz, here's your chance. And you know what that means, right, Meplo? I'm going to need you to clear out of these quarters now because these belong to the new officer. And now, Meplo, the reason we did this is because I want to find something that you'll like. So let's put you on as a miner and see if that's more fitting for you. And at long last, we're also going to put our food dispensers up here. Meplo is still unhappy, as it turns out, but I'm hoping that he will find his way. I will dismiss him if I have to, but I'm hoping we won't have to. Bulkheads on here and give these some beds. These seem to be working 
looking great though. I mean, these can hold a lot of food and I think that our botany stuff down here is doing well for it. We'll have to make four more botany boxes. We have a new meeple. Let's get to know you, Mava. Forthcoming with others, distracted, bashful, weak, violent. Uh, okay. Let's make you a refiner. Maybe that'll speak to you. Meplo over here is still, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna cut my losses with Meplo and I'm gonna let him go. It just wasn't working out with Meplo, so I figured this is probably for the best. Meplo has left the station. We have new meeple. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have nothing to defend ourselves against this. We need some people to be guards right now. Hey, look at that. Flowey Pie's actually happy now. All right, NACL. I need you to be a guard now. Flowey Pie, go be a guard. Let's see if two guards is enough. There they are. They went from scientists to gun-wielding guards. Here comes the... Here's the pirate right here. Oh, they're... Oh. So they killed two pirates, it looks like. And then the pirates took off. All right, guys, good show. Let's make you scientists again. You've had enough excitement for one lifetime. You know how happy it makes me that Flowey Pie found their way? Scientist by day, gun-toting guard by night. So I think we're going to cap it here. A lot has been done, and a lot is still to be done. We have more botany we can do. We have new officers. We have to expand our station. We're obviously going to need more soda machines. But it's just we got general expansion to do, and of course we need to get our quantum drive so we can move into other sectors. And look at that, we got another meeple. So that's gonna do it for this episode of Let's Game It Out. As always, I am Josh. Thank you so much for joining me for more Meeple Station, and I will see you next time.